Okay, so in this video, we want to print out something from our Excel spreadsheet. So we can do this. Let's go print something from our spreadsheet. So in the last video, we created a workbook and we created an active worksheet of that workbook. But then after that, we loaded a different Excel spreadsheet. So we're not really creating our own workbook here. So I can comment this out. And then let's move this below here. So this is kind of important. So in the last video, we created a workbook and set this as a worksheet of that workbook. But then after that, I showed you how to load things. And these are two different things that might have been a little confusing. But now we want to load our existing worksheet. Once it's loaded, we want to set an active worksheet. So now we can print something out from that worksheet. So we'll do that using the print function of Python. So uh, this is the print function. If you're not familiar, we can type in say, hello world. If we save this file, control S to save it or come up here and file save. I think it's command S if you're on a Mac and head back over to our terminal. And now to run this, we just type in Python and then the name of the file. So ours is hello.py. And when we do, it prints out hello world to the screen, right? So that's not that interesting, but that's the print function. Instead of printing out hello world, we can print out something from our spreadsheet. And to do that, we just reference the, the worksheet itself. So WS, and then inside of there, we can designate using these square brackets, what we want to sort of print out, right? So if we look at our spreadsheet real quick, we can see we've got some names and colors. So let's say we want to print out John. John is in A2, column A, row two. So to print that out, we just call, use quotation marks, A2. Now notice I have single quotation marks. You can also use double quotation marks. Either one really doesn't matter. So if we save this and run it, you would think that this would work, but it doesn't quite. If you look at this, it's going to print out cell sheet one, dot A2. So this is an object, right? Python is an object oriented programming language uh, and it's not all that useful. So to get the actual value out of there, we have to call the value of it. So to do that, we could just type dot value. So we save this and run it. Now it should print out John, right? So very cool. We can do several, right? So for instance, inside of here, let's create an F string and an F string just allows us to string a bunch of stuff together inside of a string. So copy this and I can use these square or these squiggly brackets and put this in here. And then outside of there, put a colon and then do it again and paste this again. But instead of a two, let's go B two. So if we save this now B two, if we look at our spreadsheet, is our favorite color column. So John, his favorite color is blue. So this should print out John colon blue. So if we save this and run it again, let's clear the screen here and run this. It prints out John colon blue, right? So very cool and very easy way to just grab very specific things from your spreadsheet. Now, obviously you could have a spreadsheet with millions of rows and columns and you're not gonna wanna print out or you're not going to want to type out this sort of thing for everyone. So in the next few videos, well, I'll show you how to sort of cycle through how to loop through your Excel file and grab lots of data all at once. But for now, I just wanted to show you this simple way to grab any specific thing out of here. Now, this video is getting a little bit long, but I can show you very quickly. We can also use variables. So let's set a variable. So let's create a variable called name and I can set that equal to whatever this is, right? So I could do like this. And now inside of here, instead of referencing all of this, I could just reference name. And we could do the same thing with color. We could set this all to color. And then here we could change this to the variable name, color. So it's a little bit cleaner, right? It's a little easier to read and understand if we do it this way. And so a lot of times you'll do things like this. So name color, if we save this and run it again, we're going to get the exact same output as before John and blue. But one kind of nice thing is we could change these right here. So let's go a three and B three. We change that here. We don't have to change anything down here. This will update automatically because these variables are now different. So if we save this and run it, 
we're gonna get Aaron and Red. So very cool and pretty simple. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start to look at looping through our Excel spreadsheet and grabbing large amounts of data all at once. And that'll be coming up in the next video.